punches in then for the cannon. Is asking for quite an extreme engagement of the inside hind leg. Which is also then saying we're asking for quite a bit of bend. So when you have horses that have a bit of a four-beat canter, or have that tendency in the canter to have the up and down action, the piston action versus the, the kicking under action, those horses always struggle with bending work. That's a little bit in the trot or in the canter the same, right? A good example of those horses, Frisians, they're one of the worst about it. Frisians, I wouldn't say all across the board, but as a breed, nearly impossible to teach how to bend. Because their body doesn't mechanize the swing of the hip right to get the hollow to happen. Not meaning you can't ever do it. But if you take a warm blood and you pull on it, on average, the body does that. If you take a Frisian and you pull on it, the body doesn't collapse in the right way. This breed is a little similar, right? They don't collapse in that way. The, high, the hawks bend like this versus this where the, the, hip swings, the hip swings the femur forward as the hawk bends. This type, a Frisian type, the hip pulls the femur up and the hawk bends. So those horses that have this action to the hind leg, very hard to bend. But what are you going to do? You just have to challenge it and push at it, right? Okay, left lead, same thing.